This video focuses on Macbeth, Act 3, Scene 4. First, we're going to read the text. We're set in the banqueting hall at Forres. It's after the appearance of Banquo's ghost, and it's about Macbeth's response. In this extract, Macbeth vows to visit the witches again. I hear it by the way, but I will send. There's not a one of them, but in his house I keep a servant feed. I will tomorrow, and betimes I will, to the weird sisters. More shall they speak. For now, I am bent to know by the worst means the worst. For mine own good, all causes shall give way. I am in blood stepped in so far that should I wade no more, returning were as tedious as to go over. Strange things I have in head that will to hand, which must be acted ere they may be scanned. Here, Macbeth talks about his control of the Scottish nobility. He describes bribing servants in every Scottish lord's house to monitor them. Then he talks about, betimes I will to the weird sisters. Notice how his use of language is powerful and in control at this point in the play. Notice the modal verb will, which adds to that certainty. However, he still emphasises the strangeness of the witches. He calls them the weird sisters. It suggests it's a knowing, conscious step towards evil. Finally, he uses the metaphor of the river of blood. Wade emphasises the amount of blood he feels has been spilled. He refers to going back as if it is something that he wants to do. He talks about returning, but he describes that as tedious, boring, as though it's something he doesn't want to do. Lady Macbeth's response. You lack the season of all natures, sleep. Come, will to sleep, my strange and self-abuse is the initiate fear that wants hard use. We are but young indeed. Here, you need to look at the concept that Macbeth knows his evil is going to progress. He is aware that he is going to do more things which people would regard as evil. Young indeed, metaphorically, implies he will grow older. He will do more evil things.